Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Ella, if you're new here, if not then hello. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I make revision notes from my lecture notes. So if you didn't already know, I study psychology, I'm in my second year, and it's taken me quite a long time to work out what kind of revision notes and lecture notes work best for me. So I thought that today I'd show you exactly how I do that and the process. This includes what I do before the lecture, in the lecture and after the lecture. Obviously I know this won't work for everyone but I thought it would be a nice video to show you guys exactly what I do. Maybe you guys can get some tips and maybe not, maybe you're just interested in how I make my notes. So yeah, if you want to see how I make my revision notes and how I make lecture notes then just keep on watching. If you do enjoy this video I'd love if you liked and subscribed and yeah let's get on into the video. Just as a quick overview, I use my laptop in the lectures and when I want to write revision notes, I use a notebook and I actually write them out. Okay, so for the sake of this video, I am gonna be learning a topic about attachment. If you don't know psychology or if you haven't studied psychology before, attachment is a pretty basic theory. Um, it's how children and adults form attachments to whether it's their parents or to other relationships and yeah, it's a pretty um, basic theory, everyone in psychology learns it, so I think I'm going to be using that topic just for the sake of this video. Before the lecture, what I really like to do is go through the lecture slides, usually the lecturers put up the slides beforehand, which is really useful. I go through all of the slides and I basically outline exactly what the lecture is going to be about. So as I can see from this lecture, I have different types of attachment theory, I've got Bowlby's attachment and their key predictions and then I've got Ainsworth and I can see that I'm going to have different kinds of studies within this lecture. So this basically gives me a understanding of exactly what the lecture is going to be. Now when it comes to the lecture I usually have two hour lectures so it can be quite a long time where I'm just having to sit and write notes. So what I like to do is I open up a Word document and I put the Word document on the right hand side and the lecture slides on the left. I find this way a much easier way to write notes in the lecture because it means that I'm both seeing the lecture slides and the notes whilst I'm writing them. And what I usually do is I write the main things that the lecturer says and the main things from the slides and I underline and highlight anything that I don't understand. Okay, so usually after the two hour lecture, I find that I have quite a vast amount of notes. And what I like to do is condense this even further to make sure that they are as simple as they can be. But before I do this, I like to go through the textbook or article that the lecturer has set and read through anything and hopefully answer any questions that I had in the lecture. So when it comes to textbooks, I usually like to get them from the library. I like to see them in front of me instead of on a computer screen. I really like to go through the textbook with a pencil and underline anything that I think is important and any studies that I think are necessary. Now when it comes to articles online these can be a bit easier because I can convert them into a PDF and highlight them online instead. So what I have here is an article about the origins of attachment theory and what I'm going to do is read through it and convert any things that I think are necessary into another Word document. So again I'm going to get open a, another Word document and put it to the right hand side of the screen and put the article on the left just so it's easier to read. Okay so after I have done that and gone through the textbook that is pretty much everything that I do when it comes to lecture notes. When I'm feeling really productive then I will actually get straight on to writing my revision notes then and there and what I like to do for that is get a really nice notebook like this and condense all of my notes into a few pages on here. 
I find that notebooks are a really nice way because you can just flip through them when it comes to revision time, you don't lose any pieces of paper and things like that, and I just feel like it's nice and easy to write on. So for attachment I am going to start a new page and I'm going to collect both of the Word documents that I've written, both through the lecture and the textbook, and basically merge them into one. When I can see the two Word documents together then I can actually look side by side and see different subtopics. Topics. So for instance for this lecture of attachment I can see the main theories, the sub theories, the studies to support those and evaluation. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is write the topic. So for this instance it is attachment so I'm going to write that in the middle of the page at the top. The next thing that I like to do is define the topic so for attachment I'm going to write that it is a psychological theory concerning relationships between humans, particularly between children and their caregivers. When it comes to the definition, I like to draw an arrow from the topic. That's just how I usually write my notes and how I make sure that I know that it is a definition. When it comes to theories or names, I like to put them to the left hand side and underline them. So for Bulby, I'm gonna write his name at the left hand side and underline. I'm going to do a little dash and write all the information that I've condensed and put it onto my page. So I'm going to look at my lecture notes and my textbook notes, make sure that I have a simple explanation and write it down below. In psychology a really big factor about writing essays and about the different topics is the evaluation which basically means whether the study or whether the topic is ethical, whether it's good or whether there needs to be some development. So what I like to do in my revision notes is write different evaluation points that I've thought of or that I've found and what I like to do is split them into two columns for the good evaluation and for the bad evaluation. When it comes to attachment, there are lots of pros to the theory, such as that it forms the basis for attachments in relationships, in love, and that there have been some studies to show this. And some of the cons are that it usually focuses on the mother instead of the father, and it usually states that there can only be one caregiver. So what I'm going to do is write these up. I'm going to aim for about four or five, just because that way, if I do have an essay, I've got lots to write about. Okay, so these are what the notes look like. As you can see, I've got my topic, definition, some theories and evaluation at the bottom. Usually I take up about four or five pages, um, but I just thought I'd do quite a basic one for this video. Now what I really like to do is go through them and highlight again any key terms, any things that I really need to remember, whether it's any dates or any results. And yeah, I just like to make it a bit more visual, so I include some colours. I usually like to stick to two colours, so I'm going to use yellow and purple, and I like to coordinate them into what each mean. So yellow will be names and dates, and purple will be information and key results. Okay, and that's pretty much the notes finished. This is what they look like at the end. As you can see, they are nice and colorful and visual. And yeah, that's pretty much how I make my lecture notes and turn them into revision notes. As you can see, they are quite simple for this video, but as I said, I like to do them on a few pages, usually five, just because the content in psychology is quite big and there are lots of different theories and evaluation. But for the sake of this video, I just did it on one page and yeah, that's usually how I like to lay out my revision notes with definitions, theories and evaluation and things like that. And that's pretty much the video completed. That is how I make my lecture notes both in and after the lecture and how I turn them into revision notes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully learned something new. Again, this strategy took me quite a while to learn and perfect. I've only really 
implemented it this year but so far it seems to be working for me and yeah that's pretty much the end of the video if you guys want to see some more content about university then I have some more videos on my YouTube so make sure to check those out I'll link those in the end screen and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'd love if you gave it a big thumbs up and subscribed and I'll see you in my next one bye Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video all about how I make my notes. I've got all of my university videos in a playlist that I'll link down below. If you want to see some more videos about my life at university, then make sure to check out these two videos here.